Hey guys, Mitch here. Uh, you might know me as the Common CE on the Battle Song subreddit or Cybo if you listen to my music. And uh, I'm really excited. Now, uh, I'm a flipper. I, I flip a uh, 51 Morpho. Uh, Benchmade. Great fucking knife. But what I got in the mail last night, which I'm finally getting around to putting on, is a little something I got off the Battle Song subreddit. So there's an awesome dude over there called the Manatus. He did a raffle, and somehow I won this raffle. <laughs> I am. No idea how I did, but I've gotten here a set of Flytanium V4 Balasong uh, handle scales for the Benchmade 51. So I'm pretty excited about it. It tacks on a little under an extra ounce, I believe, to the knife and shifts the center of balance out towards the ends of the handles a little more, which uh, I'm not really that familiar with that. The closest thing I have to a handle-centric uh, Balasong, oddly enough, is... The Balio, which uh, I was a little notorious for um, flipping that. Yeah, I can't do the standing, uh, sitting down. I was a little notorious for flipping one of those on the Balasong subreddit when I first started out because uh, seven bucks, two hundred thirty-five bucks, <laughs> a little bit of a price difference. But uh, no, I mean I'm excited. Uh, gonna crack this open here in a second and uh, check it out. Now, once again, I want to. Put a huge thanks out there to Amanitas. That's uh, just what you did with the community with that raffle is pretty awesome. I kind of hope to see uh, some more members do stuff like that on the uh, on the Reddit. What on earth am I gonna get this open? Of course, this knife is D2 steel. There we go. So it's incredibly hard and incredibly hard to sharpen. So it's gotten a little bit dull on me until I can get a proper diamond sharpener. Thought I had one. Turns out it wasn't diamond. So. I'll fix that in the near future. But yeah, at the moment it's a little uh, it's a little under shaving sharp, which I, I don't like that. It's got to be a lot sharper than that. There we go. I swear, if I find fucking gum in this thing, <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, still so got more cutting to do. Woo, more cutting. I don't want to be. I don't want to commit a travesty and pull up my Kershaw to get this box open because this is a butterfly video. But I might have to figure out where the damn seams are. Oh, there we are. Boxes are difficult. Uh. Man, I got a lot of video editing ahead of me if this is the trouble I'm having. Yep, I gotta commit a travesty. Peace, easy my Kursha. It's also Tanta Blade, very good for opening boxes. I don't know, maybe there's just legitimately that much tape on this. There we go. I committed a sin. All right. Now I'm done committing that travesty by going from a battle song to a flipper. Ooh, hang on. Yep, it's kind of melting in your mouth. <laughs> Not that I want to. I just get it. I'm just entertained by that. All right. Wow, I can feel the weight on those. Alright. Sure I've got everything I need out of here. Alright. Sweet! So here it is. Complete with a set of uh, titanium screws. Thanks a bunch for that, by the way. That's going to really help me out. I don't know what the screws on the 51 are made out of, so definitely appreciate it. They won't, those won't strip. So here we are. Got our flytanium sticker right here. Set of screws right down here. Let's uh, let's pop it open and get a good feel for these. I can feel the extra weight. They're definitely not uh, super light scales like the G10 ones are in the 51. Oh, I have to actually rip this open. Okay. Mr. Kershaw, where are you, Mr. Kershaw? A little reluctant to because the stuff in the interior is right on top of the uh, the edges.
There we go. Just tear the rest open. I'll just put the screws right there. Oh, nice little micro. And I broke it, ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm just kidding. Nice microfiber cloth there too. I actually I could use that for my glasses, believe it or not. <laughs> the Flytanium logo is. Uh... Oh, actually, wait, it's on the cloth. It's a little hard to see it. But it does, in fact, say Flytanium on the cloth, which is pretty cool. I might actually use this to roll my knives up in or something. All right. Got our Flytanium sticker. That's going to be going right on my laptop as soon as I'm done with this video. Got our handle scales here. These are, from my understanding, Titanium scales. They get a little extra weight to them. I, I, I'm interested to see how that plays out. I'm more a fan of the, the super light nature of the 51. Um, but that's because... I started on one of these, and my other trainer was a, um, a Baron Sons 114TR, and 114's kind of heavy, so it's, uh, I think that's like five, just shy of five ounces. These will push my knife up to, I want to say, I, I think I was told 4.6, so it's got some extra weight, it's not too heavy, I think it push, puts it around the 42, um, believe it or not, which um, I'll probably never see one of those in my lifetime, but yeah. I'm not in any kind of rush to get one. All right. These are pretty cool. It's the Flytanium version 4. I'm going to anodize these in the very near future. I've actually also got uh, ferric chloride on the way in. Um, intentions being to um, anodize the scales. Uh, I might anodize the liners. I'm not sure. The design I'm, I'm kind of set on at the moment is um, either gold liners and blue handles or the other way around. And... Um, Want to acid edge the spine of the blade and let the uh, the cut up top here. Let's see if I can get an angle for it. The the little I don't know what word I'm looking for here. The uh, little incline right here. I'm blanking out of terminology. Um, I want to leave those unetched and etch the central part of the spine. I think I'll look pretty cool. But I'll practice that. You got a few cheap knives first though. Something that cost me two bucks at Walmart. Once you get a good feel for that, this is going to get customized a hell and back. There's also a local metal smith who I may or may not... There we are. Uh, who does some pretty incredible work. His name is Steven LeBlanc. Uh, he does a lot of organic stuff, a lot of Mokame um, metal work. I'm thinking I'm going to have him build a custom, la or custom um, clip for the knife. So I'm pretty excited about that. I haven't set it on design yet. One of the designs I had in my head was to get this as a... Um, Kind of a bronze colored leaf, a darker bronze leaf to have the bronze handles. Maybe keep the liners blue, I'm not sure of the color yet there. Or go full brown on that. And uh, go kind of earthy on it and do kind of a... Some kind of root system design across the blade with acid etching. Um, catch being, of course, I've never acid etched and that's complicated. And um, I know I can mask things off with um, nail polish, but... I've never done it before, so if I can if I can get a good feel for things practicing on some cheap old flippers I grabbed off Walmart, I'm probably just gonna drop twenty bucks and grab like six or seven knives and destroy them learning how to how to do this. Um, I'll get right to it. All right, Flytanium V4 scales got four of them right over here. Move the camera, give you guys a good idea of what uh we're looking at. So I am very uncoordinated with this camera. I'm very excited to put these on. So uh, yeah, I'll put some pictures up of the 51 on the Balasong subreddit when I get these on. Uh, once again, I want to thank Manitus for his awesome raffle that he did. Really looking forward to trying these out. I just got used to the new center of balance on this compared to the uh, trainer I used before. I finally got used to it. Now i got to get used to a new center of balance. So got a bit of a learning experience ahead of me. I'm really excited. And, uh, yeah, can't wait. All right, I've been going on for almost 10 minutes now. I think that's long enough. You can see my lizard in the background. <laughs> All right, take it easy, guys. Looking forward to putting these on.